It's double imputation. It's the big word of the day, double imputation. Jesus takes on your sins. Jesus takes your death. In verse 25, he was released. You are released. You're free. You're free to go. You're free to go. And friends, if you get this, if you digest it, it changes everything. You're not like saying, oh man, he's like this crazy dictator, this cosmic tyrant in the sky who's trying to get me to do stuff. Man, you don't have a clue what Christianity is about. A clue. If you're saying, ah, God, he doesn't have a good plan for my life, you don't have a clue about Christianity because this is his plan for you. That he would take your place and give you life, give you release and give you freedom. Man, and when you get that, your life, your attitude, your identity, your outlook, it's changed. You're not ruled by what people think about you. You're not ruled by what you want people to think about you. You're not ruled about trying to make a name for yourself, trying to preserve yourself. You're not ruled saying, ah, man, I gotta be able to move my way up in the corporate ladder and make sure that I get all these riches and all this status. And if you do get it, If that does happen, you're way more concerned about using that influence for Jesus than yourself and the world. You realize your money's not your money, it's Jesus's. Your career, it's not your career, it's Jesus's. Your talents, it's not yours, it's Jesus's. You don't have to live a bitter, angry life. You're released, you're freed. You're free to go wherever and do as much good for Jesus as possible. That's the gospel. 